Hello everyone. We have already recorded a video describing pair trading, but I would like to tell you about some improvements to the strategy by giving you a full overview of the program. And I will show you everything from the beginning so you understand. I added CTrader to the session through Fix API, and now it is disconnected. I'll have to connect it. So I'll do this now. And as we can see, the session has connected. I can now add the strategy. If I purchase a strategy, then it will appear in this list. I added, in this case, pair trading and click OK. The window will ask me if I want to create a symbol list through template, and I will click Yes. The strategy window will open, and I need to choose my session. As pair trading is best done on one account, I will select the single session and then choose C Trader. After this, I'll click Apply. And I will see a window that has some preset settings. The first setting is the minimal lot, which I will use. And the rest of the settings are built uh, around the minimum lot parameter. Uh, if I, for example, want to trade Australian dollar in terms of New Zealand dollar, um, and I will set this up around here, I can increase the lot. And if I want to do this, I'll need to proportionally increase stop loss, take profit, minimum profit, trail distance, and so on. In this case, the program will work as supposed uh, as it's supposed to with the correct proportions. So I'll demonstrate this by changing the lot to 0 0.1. I will proportionally increase this parameter to uh, 0 0.1. Stop loss, I'll make $10. Take profit, I'll make $50. And minimum profit, 1.5, and so on. So all of the parameters are proportional to the minimum lot. I also have indices here, gold and oil, as well as indices. And for oil, I have Texas and Brent selected here. If I need to create mapping, I can map all of my symbols in the settings. And this is needed for when my broker name for the symbol doesn't match the name here. So I'll take everything off just to show you, and I'll just leave GDAX in UK 100 in my case. And I will need to create mapping for GDAXI and don't need to create mapping for UK100. So I'll go to settings and double click to select the symbol pair. So once I click, I'll see two windows. On the left, I choose the symbol that is screened by Short Trader, which is GDAXI. And on the right, I will select my broker's name for the symbol. In this case, my broker has it named Germany 40. If I need to make another mapping, I can move my mouse into the field below and double click once more. So for example, if I needed to remap Brent, I can do that here. And I don't actually need to map it, but this is just to demonstrate for you. So I'll just click Escape here. Um, and after I have completed my mappings, I'll up, I click Apply Changes and click Run. And if everything goes well, the strategy will start. And the same way, the mappings will automatically update in the session. Uh, and those indices will be automatically set up. So I will take a look at this uh, and see that everything's okay. I'll go to the sessions window and click the gear icon near my C Trader session. So here's my C Trader session. Here I can see all of the mappings. And the program automatically did the mappings for GDAXI, and it successfully mapped it and added the symbol for UK100. And 
you now do not need to map this manually, and the program does it automatically for you once you select the mappings. Uh, you can also see the lot mut multiplier here. Also, as we already showed all the settings, uh, all of the settings are automatically selected, and you need to just choose the pair you want to trade. And I'll show you how to do this as well. If you want to trade it with a new pair, you can also go to the correlation table. You can add a symbol from the list and determine the correlation. Here, I also need to connect to CTrader. And I can just select wh whatever correlation I want to see. For example, I will add GDAXI uh, as well as UK100. I'll also add gold, silver, and oil here as well, and add Texas and Brent for oil. So here I'll select all the pairs that I want to see correlations for. Perfect. I'll click recalculate and it shows me a table with the correlation of each symbol. Here we can see the correlation between each pair now. We see that, for example, gold and silver have sufficient correlation, uh, so we can use it to trade, and we can screen uh, any other pair using a similar process. The only thing that's important to note here is the time frame. Uh, if you want to use, for example, a 15-minute time frame, you'll need to recalculate the correlation once you select it. And we recommend using a lower time frame so the orders are maximally short. You can also view the Z index for these pairs um, and uh, take a look at what the Z index is. If you see a pair that is highly correlated, um, you can right click the pair and add it to your instrument list where you can set up all of your parameters for the trading of the pair. you can do as so. Another note about Z-index, um, I recommend you to structure your Z-index in the following way. I would choose a high index and look at all the highest and lowest indexes over the period of the last few days and choose the Z-index that works for you. For example, if your Z-index is too high and there are many orders being opened, you might want to choose a lower Z-index and so on. So you want to select the highest Z index that also doesn't compromise the number of deals, number of orders opened. Thank you again for watching, and I hope that this video has helped you look at some of our new parameters and possibilities in the program. Please like, comment, and subscribe so that traders like you are able to see these tips and to support us in the creation of these videos. Have a good day.